Creating presentations is actually fun with Padlet. To make a beautiful slideshow, all you have to do is create a Padlet and click play. In this video, we will use Padlet to create a slideshow presentation. From the dashboard, click Make a Padlet. You can make a slideshow with any format, but it can be easier to use a format with more structure. So select Wall with sections. Next, change the appearance of the Padlet. You can add a title and description, which will appear on the title side of your presentation. You can also update the wallpaper, which will set the color scheme of your presentation. Now add posts and sections, which will be the slides of your presentation. You can even add attachments to your posts, and they will be visible and fully functional when you present the slideshow. Once you've added your posts, drag and drop them into your preferred order. The slideshow will present your sections and posts in the order you see on your Padlet. When you're ready to present, click the Slideshow button. If you want others to follow along on their mobile devices, click the QR code button to display a QR code on the title slide of your slideshow. To present your slideshow, you can navigate with the arrows on the screen or the arrow keys on your keyboard. If you don't want to be tied to your device, you can also use autoplay. By default, the autoplay will show each slide for a length of time determined by the amount of words on the screen, but you can also set up a standard length of time to display each slide. Once you've set your slide timing, click the play button to start autoplay. You can press any key to stop autoplay. Finally, if you need to go back to a specific slide, hover over the slide indicator to find the slide you want to return to. To share your slides after the presentation is over, click the share button and then copy link to slideshow. Make sure to return to the Padlet and adjust your visitor permissions so others can't add new slides. From the Padlet, click the share button, change privacy, and then adjust your visitor permissions to can read. Now everyone will be able to review your presentation as a reference in the future. We hope you spend less time making slides and more time getting things done.